yes, I think that would be a fabulous idea for Kells. I don't think um, Trinity would lose too many people. There's a lot of artefacts in around Dublin and the Trinity area. It has a lot of heritage and steep in history and some lovely buildings. And while the Book of Kells is a, an asset to Trinity, I think it would be a huge asset to Kells because um, I think it would actually bring tourists here. And seeing as it's called the Book of Kells, I would imagine people maybe come and looking for it would come here and be disappointed to find it's not here. Um, it would uh, obviously have boost tourism and, and trade and to maybe even surrounding towns then because when people come down they'll probably visit Newgrange and other places. But they may avoid Kells with it not being here and I think that's a disaster for Kells. Yeah, it's my understanding that law, uh, that land was first given to the people of Kells and that's where it should remain. I mean, the whole towns that are on the periphery of Dublin seem to be stripped of a lot of their assets and like the Book of Kells, I think definitely that's with the people of Kells as we speak and it should remain so in trust. Um, so yes, I definitely think that should be kept in trust for the people. Um, I don't know if I would like to be one or not, but I feel I have to be one. I have young children, and there's nobody standing up for the rights of the people in this country. It has forced me into this position that I actually have to try and become a TD to affect change, because there's not one TD that I could honestly say comes out with policies for the people, but for corporate interests and the banking interests of Europe. And because of that, we are all living on the breadline. So that's why I probably have to become a TD rather than want to be one. Well, I've huge experience in standing up for the rights of people. For the last number of years, I've been fighting sheriffs, receivers, bankers, and fighting in the high courts because I'm, I understand banking and the fraud within, and I understand when people's rights are being trampled on. This is, uh, this is what happens in our country. Yeah, I think that's something we should definitely look at. I think the euro has failed. I think it has failed and they keep propping it up. Um, they're printing more euro, devaluing the euro. Um, you know, and that's why you need now two people working at home to sustain a mortgage. And even at that, it's hard work. I think we should go back to a currency of our own. Um, you know, maybe even have a public bank issue debt-free, interest-free money backed by the assets of the country. I think that would make us all very well off. No, Ireland is not a democracy. It's very far from a democracy. I mean, we are supposed to have, at the minute, representative democracy. That's where your government is supposed to represent the people. Now, I have not met one person who wants the property tax. I have not met one person who wants um, the water tax, the storage charges. Not one of these people want that. So who are they representing? Why are they taxing the people on their family homes? If that doesn't make sense. That's not even representative democracy. They're being influenced by bankers in Europe. So the laws that come from Europe, 80% of the laws that come from Europe now are done by bankers, unelected officials. That's as close to fashion as you'll get. And not, we, we don't even want representative democracy, we want direct democracy, where, the, where it comes from the people up rather than dictated from the top down. That's fascism. Um, we're still in obviously in a recruitment drive we said that when we launched the party this, op um, this opportunity has arisen in the by-election and obviously we're going to fight it the policies we'll be coming in for on this is a, a large reduction on all family home mortgages because if you don't do that there is no money in the system and businesses will just keep getting repossessed um, they'll have receivership in them and homes repossessed businesses are closed and they can't even afford business rates so we're looking for a reduction in business rates uh, there was a credit union survey there that said um, that most people now have 50 euro to spend at the end of a month. So as I say to people, what business can you be in where someone has 50 euro that you're going to survive? I mean, if you're selling carpets or curtains or windows or televisions or whatever it is you're selling, you'll find it very hard to survive out there if people have only got 50 euro. Thanks very much.